So let's give this a try. Increase left shield power by 35%. Okay, so that's interesting. Uh, we see the direction came back as normal, but the power, the increment, uh, is recording as zero. So let's take a look and there we go. The reason why is because we didn't actually get the integer set first. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So we can't do the math and the conversion at the same time. We'll do input command. So bringing in just the numer numerical portion of our input command, as you remember. Hit OK. And that should get us taken care of. Increase left shield power by 35%. There we go. So the direction is set to the correct one. So we see left comes across. And then the number of loops, 7. Uh, 35 divided by 5 is just 7. So everything's as we expect it. So next up, we're going to go through and actually start um, working on that. So we're going to begin a conditional block. Uh, because we want to look at the direction and if the direction equals and let's start with forward right so the forward shields right uh, we want to do something now we're going to loop a certain number of times so within here uh, let's actually start another loop and while integer loop is greater than zero. Okay, we're going to do this thing. Now you'll notice the indentation. This means that all of this is a conditional statement where this section executes within. So now we're going to actually do a key press here. So uh, to increase forward shield power is the number pad eight. Um, and we'll hit that once. And then also we're going to, we'll just copy this over here. So we're going to change the loop integer. And we're actually going to just subtract one each time. So that will loop as we need it to. So we can copy. We're going to add else if the text value direction equals something else. So let's do rear. We'll go up one. And we're going to do the same loop inside, except this time the number pad two is where we're going to go. So we have if direction equals forward, do this loop uh, with a number pad eight. Otherwise, if it equals rear, do this. And we will just copy this for the remaining options. So we have forward, rear, left. And we're going to make sure we change the key that it presses there. Number pad four. We're going to do right. And the number pad six. Make sure that's set. And then we have top, which I believe is number pad seven. It might be number pad nine. We can go back through and validate that here, uh, but just setting it for now. And then bottom. And that will set as number pad seven. So. The key bindings might be a little off right now. Uh, I'm not entirely sure on uh, the top and bottom, but for demonstration, that should work just fine. So now looking at our command, so we have all of our starting stuff that gets the variables prepped. Then we get into the loops, right? Uh, for each direction, we loop the number of times. Uh, we go forward, rear, left, right, top, and bottom. And then just at the end, we will actually have it confirm that request and finish. 
And again, we'll, we'll call this one shield management. And okay, so let's say increase shield power, just so it has a different name than the category. So okay, should be there and work just fine. And what we'll do is we'll give it a try. Increase forward shield power by 25%. Alright, so it looped five times. That seems like it uh, should be just fine. Increase top shield power by 75%. Alright, that seems to work.